So as a fellow African, how um, was that? Sorry, how did that go down? Because I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. Like Let's that. just say it was a risk. And boy, <laughs> thank God it paid off because, yeah, okay. my parents, woof. Okay, how yeah, did that? my mum was not having it. How did that talk go? I just had to convince her, like, listen, mum, this is for a tour. It's either I finish uni, which this course is not really, it's not making sense for me. Yeah. And I really want to do this. My first opportunity, it's a tour away. It could work out. Okay. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I just didn't, I told her after. So after, she okay. Had, yeah. <laughs> so let me, let's just not lie. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Me, I've, I've, got a, I've got a degree that's up for sale, to be honest. People can, I'm not using it, so. Oh, Lord. So, I, I'm, but I am happy that I went to uni, though. It does, um, keep, it does give you good experience, exactly. like life experience and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I, I, I'm not <laughs> using it at the moment, so yeah. So yeah. how was it going solo? What was your decision behind that? And, you know, that path, wh mm. why did you decide to take that path and... Go, go it alone, go it on your own. You know, I just felt like the group was amazing, but I just wanted, I just felt like it's time for me to grow, evolve and, and tap into other stuff. And I've always wanted to do music and, and, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm up to now. Um, so I felt like, you know, the group was amazing, but it's like, it's time for me now yeah. to just grow and like, yeah. Spread your own thing. wings. Yeah. Do your own thing. Yeah. And it's really interesting because obviously we knew you as a dancer before yeah. and then you went into music and you've kind of mm. just taken over in terms of the mm. music scene. We don't have a lot of really, really, really like well-known female mm. Afrobeats um, artists. And yeah. I would definitely say that you're one of them now and you're able to combi combine your talent of mm. artistry and actually dancing, singing, you know, all of that together. So, oh, what, ma what made you go? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm just saying the truth. But what made you go down that road? What made you go from? Because you've worked with so many amazing people as mm. as a dancer. You know, you'd, you'd worked with Little Kim, you've worked mm. with Drake, you worked with Wizkid and Dav um, Davido. Mm. So, what was it? To, what was it like to take that leap into being your own artist, mm. um, pursuing music, and yeah, what was the thought process behind that? Oh, it was exciting and mm. <clears throat> for me it was a thing of you know what i've been behind the artist for so long and mm. it just it used to frustrate me sometimes it's like oh my gosh when is it gonna be me type Fact, thing yeah and and funny enough when i was on the drake tour the choreographer tanisha she knew like i want to go into music she was like you see that that's gonna be you one day oh, and that energy yeah. yeah and i was just like after that tour i was just like you know what I feel like i'm at a good point now like i've done it all as a dancer yeah let, let me give everything else a chance Oh, and the timing was right for me, yeah, musically. Definitely, yeah. definitely, the yeah. timing was right. And you know what I did like as well about you coming into your own? Mm. It's obviously the fact that you're also South African. Yes. Because I think as well, like me, I'm being Ghanaian. We're one of the bait Africans, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whenever somebody has a discussion about Africa, it's always Niger, Nigeria or Ghana. It's so, it's so dead now. Lot. But there's so <laughs> many... Yeah, you know, babes, I feel the same, you lot as well. <laughs> Can I just say? No, but I love I it, but yeah, you know, <laughs> you know we yeah. feel left out. Thank you. You guys feel left out. So it's yeah. nice to see, like, especially with Ampiano right now, mm. South Africa and Southern African countries are just on the map right now. Yeah. So that must have felt good. What did it feel like to, to, to be that person to come out as one of the mm. first people from outside of the Bay countries um, and kind of hold the stage on your own as a South African? What was that like? It's such an honor, but it's a lot. It's, I feel like it's a, res a huge responsibility mm. because, um, yeah, there's not a lot of Southern African acts like this side. Yeah. So for me, I always feel a bit of a bit of pressure, but I guess it's a good thing because regardless, I'll always fly the flag. And yeah. I'm all about South Africa. If you had, if you don't know already, but um, yeah, it's just been exciting for me. So so exciting, and w with the movement on my piano now, just going worldwide. Yeah. I just feel like the timing is perfect and me seeing all the other female artists from South Africa, like Shoma Josie, Busiswa, do it internationally. Yeah. It just amped me like, wow, this is doable. And you're definitely in that lineup. That's what's yeah. really amazing. So you, what's really interesting is that when you first came onto the scene, yeah. you were around when it was the rise of Afrobeats. Yes, And exactly. now when you've come and into your own, to be your own artist, is yeah. the rise of the Southern African music and a piano. Ooh. So how did it yeah. feel to be um, one of the first in the Afrobeat scene? Mm. And also, how does it feel to watch the culture grow and just become worldwide? How does how do you feel just watching Goose that? Goosebumps! Like till this day, every time I hear like Afrobeats play, it still mm. it hasn't clicked because I remember when we used to do interviews as a dancer. You know, we used to dream. Oh my gosh, we wish we could hear Afro. Can't wait till the day we hear Afrobeats in like a, a normal store or like just go mainstream, like at the airport, yeah, like places like public places. And now you hear it everywhere. And my piano everywhere. It's like what is it's this real? It's and crazy. people like from America vibing to it. It's yeah. Like, what? Yeah. It's, it's so, just, it's so, crazy. so crazy. 
All right, let's get into some of <laughs> your music right now. Can, can you just say your name again? I'm going to get this right. Yeah. One more time. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Give me a beat. <laughs> she even freestyled it. Yeah, I can't do that click. Like, my dry throat is not allowing me to do that click. Let's get into some of... <laughs> that was dead. We'll get this. Not we'll music here on Represent Radio. Stay tuned. <laughs> 